So let's talk a little bit about uh, ultrasonic hardness testing. Um, this is the ultrasonic hardness testing. It's called UCI, uh, ultrasonic contact impedance, standardized according to ASTM A1038. Uh, so I take a lot of calls because the test results that our customers get with that test method uh, quite often don't match, right? And, and a lot of times it's because they haven't corrected for the alloy that they're testing. So let's understand a little bit more. I'll try and explain a little bit more about what's going on and that, that'll help to uh, explain why you need to correct for the different alloys. So what's going on in the UCI, the ultrasonic contact impedance? Uh, it's called ultrasonic contact impedance because uh, what we're doing is, is we have a probe and in that probe, uh, if I remove the protective shell, you can see we have a Vickers diamond mounted on a metal rod. And this metal rod is, uh, when it's turned on and, and connected, it's vibrating in a set uh, resonant frequency. So uh, we tell the probe what test force we want. And as we press that diamond into the material, now all of a sudden that resonant frequency changes. It shifts. Uh, softer material, deeper indentation, and a, more of a frequency shift. Uh, so what we're doing is, in a standard Vickers test, you're applying that Vickers test force, removing the diamond and measuring the indentation size. We're inferring the indentation size by the frequency shift of the resonating rod. So um, what happens when you're testing different alloys, each different alloy, depending on the modulus of elasticity, interacts with this diamond indenter in a different way, different degrees. One you know, maybe more of a shift or less of a shift for any given hardness. So we have to account for that. We have to create a material calibration for the UCI probe to read correctly. So um, easy ways to do that in the instruments. We'll go over that in a future thing. But for now, just know that if you're testing something other than uh, a typical uh, low alloyed steel, low alloyed carbon steel, something with a 210,000 MPa modulus of elasticity, you need to account for that material shift.